Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. For today's URC semi-finals review, big, big questions and lots to unpack over the weekend with two upsets with the Bulls beating Lens 25 points to 20. Months to going down to Glasgow Warriors 10 points to 17 to set up a showdown at Loftus this weekend. Bulls versus Glasgow Warriors. Six o'clock Southern Standard Time is the official kickoff time and uh, should be an absolute cracker. Is this the Bulls? Biggest club victory, one of the biggest victories ever in their history. Not my words, but to potentially Jake White. And we'll talk about that a little bit. And Glasgow Warriors also a serious upset against Munster. Um, you know, some people are saying that it's not that big of an upset because Glasgow Warriors are playing well. It is an upset. It is the current champions, the, the team that finished number one in the log, losing to number four. By definition, that is a, an upset. Um, so let's try and unpack this in a bit. Before we do that, please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. First things first, Bulls beating Lens to 25 points to 20. Now, this has been an interesting reaction. I called it Mission Impossible. And uh, after the game, I said it, it was an incredible victory. And a lot of people are saying, you know, we, it's not that surprising. You know, the Bulls have uh, have had massive victories before. You don't just go to Loftus and win. Bulls are a massive club. And I will not dispute any of that. This is not the same Bulls that we're talking about that were beating the likes of the Crusaders and winning Super Rugby titles and stuff like that. You can't compare these teams. You cannot compare the Bulls that had Ferreira Priya, Victor Matfield, Bucky's Buerta, Pierce Spies, you know, those, those sort of players. Mordé Stain, um, you know, to, to name a few, to the current side that they've got. You know, that, that, that Bulls team that won Super Rugby titles had World Cup winners in it. Um, lots of them, multiple World Cup winners, it. Um, lots and lots of Springboks, you know. And um, if we look at this bull side at the moment, completely different um, sort of, of team. And this is why I think, you know, Jake White, he's, 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 he spoke about it as um, the the biggest win in his uh, in his club career. And and that's how that's how important he said. And I mean, he's beaten Nancy before. Um, but he said he looked at this and he said that this, um, this win is his biggest in his club career. And... That's my thing. My biggest thing at the moment, you know, you, you talk about um, the 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 Bulls teams in the past, and you know, 2010, 2014 finals, for example, and the likes. But it's just a completely different side. We're talking about a side that does have four World Cup winners. I'll grant two of them injured. One of them came back from injured, and they lost the other one um, halfway through the game. This is halfway through the game in the first half. So effectively, by the time the Bulls finished that game, they had no current spring box on the field. Um, and 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 that was it, you know. And youngsters and 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 players who are not particularly um, experienced at this level and have not played this kind of rugby, and that's why I think it's such an impressive victory. You know, it's not to disrespect Bulls, but you look at this Leinster side and the quality that they have. They had over a thousand appearances. You know, you all see people or club appearances on the bench. You know, so that's kind of the depth that 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 Leinster side have have got compared to a Bulls side, which are building depth one hundred percent, but um, it's completely different. Um, and I think you know it'll be doing them a disservice to not mention just how good of a of a victory that was. I mean, I, I pulled up the the team, you know, the Bulls had when they beat um when they when they uh, when they beat the Stormers at Orlando Stadium. And uh, as mentioned, you know, you, you know, you've got Victor Matfield, you've got Donnie Rousseau, you've got um, Pierre Spies, Fouille Pierre, Mornay Stade, Francois Hochart, Van Olafia, um, Gertrude Stierkamp in the front row, Gary Buerta, Werner Kreer. Uh, you know, so those are I mean, flipping them over off the bench. For example, you know, the proper proper players um, over there. If you look at um, 2019 final, for example, against against the Chiefs, again you've got Victor Matfield, Bucky's Buerta, Pierre Spies, Gertrude Steenkamp, Frieda Pierre, Morningstar, Brian Abana. Um, you know, it's, it's so they've they had absolute world class players back in the day, and it was one of the best squads, you know, in the best competitions. I don't think they've got the best squad. I mean, for example, I think Sharks, if you're being brutally honest, they've got a better squad than the Bulls do. I think Stormers probably have a better squad than the Bulls do on paper, which is what makes this Bulls performance so impressive. Uh, for Leinster, well, I'm going, to talk about, I'm going to talk about Leinster a bit more tomorrow. I'm going to be releasing another video. Um, a lot of people talking about is Jacques Nina, but the problem at Leinster, we'll talk about that tomorrow. But I want to talk a little bit about Munster versus Glasgow Warriors. What a performance from Glasgow and a serious, serious statement from a side under Franco Smith who have been growing in confidence and uh, had a never said die attitude. You know, they just arrived at Fulman Park and said, no, you know what, we're not going to take this diet lying down. We're going to defend like our lives depend on it. And if you give us half a chance, we're going to take it, which is what Carl Stain did with that first try. But I was so impressed with the defensive Glasgow Warriors. And at every single time, 
that they that they that they Munster try to build momentum. That's why it's forced an error with the pressure. Um, you know, Rory Dodge, Jack Dempsey, that whole back row, Matt Ferguson as well. Fantastic on the ground. I mean, Tom Jordan, a fly half, making three turnovers, the most turnovers in the game, as well as multiple tackles, hitting rucks, for example. You know, it wasn't a game of flair from Glasgow Warriors. And we've seen them play very nice rugby. It was a game of do or die. And they just defended like absolute demons. And for Munster, I mean, you know, you'll go back to the drawing table and say they should have taken their chances. But, I mean, it's not like they play badly. I think that's the big thing. I, mean, I think even if you look at both these sides, I don't think it was the best performance. But I don't think any of these teams across the four, the two games, any of the four teams played badly. The other teams just almost wanted them more. And that's kind of what you want to see in playoff rugby. So I think we've been set up for a really cool final on Saturday. It's fantastic that it's going to be in South Africa. It's going to be mental. And you think that is going to be the, the block game before. I'm sure that Loftus B field will be set up with, with, with screens and stuff like that for that block game. Um, it's going to be absolutely packed. Uh, I do expect, I mean, there were 4,000 tickets sold in the first hour for Loftus, so I do expect it to be at least, you know, 40,000 people in that stadium. And I think it's going to be a bit of a cauldron. So it's going to be a tough time for the guys who are to come down, but nothing to lose in the game, really. Let me know what you think is going to happen on Saturday. Let me know what you thought about this weekend. Is that indeed the Bulls' biggest win ever, potentially, in their in their history um, in terms of setting up a chance to win the URC. Let me know down in the comments below. Smash like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.